Um, hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make um, a simple GIF. Uh, there's lots of different ways to, to do this and if you went on uh, YouTube you'd find lots of different tutorials showing you different ways. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, this straightforward way. Um, I've uploaded um, a GIF that I've done earlier onto my Tumblr which you can view. So it's Cat Havering Graphics. Let's play this. So that's roughly the tutorial I'm going to show you how to do. Um, so start off by opening up Photoshop. Do a new file. I mean, it's up to you what size you want it. I made mine um, 20 by 20 um, and I called it um, the layers. So just double check, a 20 by 20 centimetres, uh, 300 uh, pixels per inch. And then I'm going to open up a new file again. Same thing, and this time I'm going to call it um, arrows. Actually, I'm going to call them And um, you can choose any shapes, you can create them from, so if you see this tool here, so uh, normally it's on either sort of the rectangle or the ellipse, but if you go down to the bottom, the custom shape tool, then um, you can, if you have a look up here, um, have these simple shapes, but you want to avoid um, doing sort of, um, uh, shapes that are going to look a bit silly, so either do circles or rectangles or, you know, like um, quite a nice shape, so, you know, no hearts or funny sort of blob shapes or anything. So um, arrows are quite nice and I quite like this one, so I'm going to go for that one. And draw a, a quite smallish arrow and then I'm going to fill that in red, it's up to you completely what you want to do, but um, and then you double click and instead of having shape one you would call it an arrow and then probably create another one, I'm trying to remember now what I've got here, so I've got a red arrow, a green and a black arrow slightly wider and fill that one with black and then I'm going to create a third arrow green and then I am just going to draw a box around it and go to um, transform and then just flip that one horizontally so it's facing the other way and then basically what you do so you're gonna um, we need to call that one command and D Get rid of marching ants. That one. Can I put that too? Okay. So that one's on this layer here. So double click that. Put the green arrow and then this one here.
So I'm not going to go through the whole process because um, I've already done now, but I'm just going to show you the first few steps. So if we start off with black arrow, we run the drag tool, so we drag it out of here, and drop it into the layers, and drag it all the way back here. And then you need to save that as a JPEG because that's the first, going to be the first one. So um, right at the end, you can always create a, a completely empty white space called a zero. But for this one, we're going to call it arrow one. So you just go to file, save as. Arrow one. So it's a JPEG. Actually, I've called it, um, what I'm going to do is I need to call it something else. I can't call it Arrow. I'll, call, I'll tell you what, I'll call it um, Example 1. Okay, because I've got all my arrows saved down here, so I don't want to start calling them layers or arrows or, um, or anything like that. So I'm going to call it Example 1 and then Save. Okay. So now we go back to the arrows again and I'm still going to just use the black arrow so I'm going to drag that one back in and I'm going to place it so I know it's roughly you can see in the same sort of area around there and then the other black arrow the one that's below it you can see hide this one see the other one's still there but what you want to do now is you want to just hide the one that's underneath. So we hide that one. Okay, so that's the only black arrow that's on show. And now you go to File, and you go to Save As. And we call that whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Example 2. And I'm going to save it as JPEG. arrows. Again, I'm going to use the black arrow, so I'm going to just drag that in, drag it on top, so it's kind of, you can see, once you see the kind of, um, the line, you can just align it up there. You don't want to have it over here, because it'll be too jumpy, so, but you don't want to put it here either, because it'll take you um, forever to make one GIF, so you've got to be quite sort of reasonable about it. So that will be the next uh, thing along. So what you want to do now is you want to hide this underneath black arrow. So just hide that one. Okay. And now I start to bring in a new arrow. So we go back to the color arrows. I'm going to start to bring in the green. So you've got to click on the green arrow, drag it in. And put it in here. And again, you go to file, save as. You need to keep an eye as well on, and remember how many of these you've made, how many examples or um, different JPEGs you've made, because otherwise you might sort of lose um, track of where you are, like I've done. So um, I think that's probably three. Okay. And then again, back to arrows, back to the black arrow. Drag your arrow in. Top. Hide the other black arrow by clicking on the eye. Back to arrows. Again, to the green one. Drag that one in. Put it down top. Look for the other green arrow that's on show and hide it. And again, File, save as, example 4, make sure you save as a JPEG, save. Okay, so I'm not going to show you um, all the different uh, stages because I've already done them. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'll just close this.
crop it, and then show you how to do the timeline. So, my sort of my first layer um, and my last layer is just a plain white square. And then you simply go to file. Now, um, I've got place on here, and you've got place embedded, so it's the same thing. So you place embed. One, click it, okay. And I'm gonna, if you you can whiz um, along the tutorial at this point, because all I'm gonna do now is um, place embed uh, all 17, okay? So you might want to um, just move along in the tutorial. And I have tried place embedded um, more than, you know, highlighting more than one at a time. So I thought, oh, is there a way of being able to do all of this in one go? But I couldn't get my computer to do it. But you could try, because it might be, because this is an old version. This is CS6, so on the new one, you might be able to do it. And then finally, uh, back to the final frame. Okay. And then uh, at this point, you need to go to Window and Timeline. And there's two versions. So it's Create Video Timeline and Create Frame Animation. So it's Create Frame Animation if you want. And then if we go over here, you need to go to make frames on rails. And then can you see the first frame is highlighted? So if you hold the shift button and you click on the last one, now they've all been selected. Um, if you click on the first one, I don't think it matters, you can click on to any of them, but uh, I usually go to the first one and then you choose um, what sort of uh, gap of time you want in between each frame. It usually works better. Um, you know, the 0 0.2 or 0 0.1. So I'll go for 0 0.2. Okay. And see where it says once here, that'll just run it through once. But if you just want it to go on forever, or three times, click on three times, if you want forever, forever. Okay. And then to see what it looks like, let me just move this out of the way a bit. Just play. So if we were to go to one second, a bit quicker, and if we go into 2.5, 
two seconds. This slow. But I don't think it's as effective. I think either 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 um, is, for this type of gift, probably the best one to do. Okay. Uh, now, once you go to this um, stage, what you need to do is you need to go to File, and again, I'm on an older version of a computer. Now, it will say on mine, save for web legacy, but you don't have that on your computer. What you will have is uh, export. So when you click on export, it will have an option there for legacy. Okay, so it's just hiding, basically, in export. So you click on that. You just make sure uh, it's a GIF here. And... Just gonna wait for the for the sort of buffering to start. Earlier, under the um the the version for my Tumblr, it um. It just loaded and saved in about 10 seconds, but it can be a bit longer. Now, this is what's really important. Can you see where it says width and height? Um, they, it can't be over 1200 uh, or longer height. So make sure the larger of the two numbers is no more than 1200 pixels. Okay. And then you go to save. And again, I've done uh, this in the past, and the saving process has taken um, 25 minutes, and I've done it, and it's taken 20 seconds, so let me see. And put your file name, final arrow. Now, for now, I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. Okay, and it should be, there we go, final arrow GIF. Now, what I would normally then do is I would upload it onto Tumblr, but um, you're using Sways at the minute. So for now, I would say just check and see uh, when you're running it through on Photoshop that it's exactly how you want it. And then obviously save it and save it onto your desktop and then I will check with um, other tutors um, and see uh, what the best way is of then uploading a GIF onto a Sway. Okay, but uh, yes, that's the essentially the um, process for doing a GIF, um, a simple sort of GIF in this kind of particular uh, way where you're kind of building up the layers um, using JPEGs. Um, okay, and that is the end of the tutorial.